I want you to hear the background of this the uh, this weak, no good, nothing man that killed those two innocent people there in Virginia, uh, Bester Flanagan. We got this from New York, New York Daily News. So let's have his background, James. Okay, this is an exclusive from New York Daily News. The mother of the on-air murderer Vester, Vester Flanagan had violent outbursts, threatened to kill husband and kids, according to documents. So this is his mother, according to this report, raising this boy and the rest of his brothers and sisters, whatever. A violent uh, mother who had violent outbursts. Can you imagine being a child and dealing with that? Go ahead. And threatened to kill her husband and the kids. Vester Lee Flanagan the second. his parents had a bitter breakup when he was eight years old, and his father alleged that he and his two older sisters were not safe around his mother, Betty. Vester Lee Flanagan Sr., now 76, filed for divorce and an emergency restraining order in the early 80s, claiming Betty's behavior toward him and the kids had been, quote, extremely menacing and threatening for months. Quoting the father, she, had also, she has also repeatedly threatened my life, at least on one occasion threatening to shoot me in my sleep. And the children have heard these threats and are understandably upset. You ever been with a woman like that? No. I've been with a woman like that. Um, you can't go to sleep. Dang. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the father also claimed Betty threatened the children with a brush and a belt. And had I not removed these weapons from her hands, I am certain she would have used them on the children. He requested custody of the kids who were 10, 9, and 8. Quote, She has, for example, threatened the lives and safety of our children as a method of attempting to keep me from leaving the house to go to work. At other times, the respondent, Betty, is calm, rational, and charming, but the children and I are unable to to anticipate or control these outbursts or threats of violence. Betty apparently did not respond to those sworn statements that he, uh, her husband had written, and the judge granted the father's request for uh, custody and all that, and the restraining order. Betty taught high school in Oakland for 37 years and was well-liked by her neighbors, who recalled her as quiet and polite. She died in 2008. That's just like those church-going women. Yep. They go to church and put on these hats and nice dress, and they act all holy and raise up holy hands and praise the Lord. And how you doing, Pastor? Uh, and just <laughs> praying in other tongues and just sweet. And everybody think, wow, what a nice Christian woman. Well, behind door, closed door, Satan is at work. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Her threatening the kids with a brush and a belt, that seems like normal spanking stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Maybe the husband was the opposite extreme. Okay. Why, well, threatened to kill them, too? I'm just saying. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Vester, as a kid and high schooler, was seen as, quote, very polite by those who knew him and a, quote, shy gentleman, according to his high school junior prom date. Because Mama just scared the hell out of him. The, the date said he, uh, he was a different person than the person that we know today. His mother's neighbor said that he was, quote, very well-dressed, well-spoken, very polite, honest. He was educated, and that he grew up in the closet. He was shunned by certain people because of his sexuality. What do you mean he grew up in a closet? His mother kept him there? No, he hid from the fact that he was gay. Oh, that closet. He fit, hid his effeminateness. Oh, okay. This, this part is from Fox News. Someone who lived in Flanagan's apartment complex told The Mirror, which is a British newspaper, that Flanagan was, quote, rude and arrogant to everyone and anyone. Just like Mama. Flanagan's former co-workers at WDBJ and other stations remembered him as an impossible colleague known for angry outbursts and accusations of racism. He and another motorist recorded each other in a road rage incident in which Vester followed a man who criticized his driving 
to that man's destination and got out of the car. They exchanged words, and Flanagan tells the man, you need to lose some weight, sir. <laughs> <laughs> According to Weasel Zippers, um, Vester Flanagan planned to disguise himself and continue his murdering spree, sending out more messages. I have said over and over and over and over again um, for the last 25 years that if you're raised by angry parents, father and mother, or one or the other, as a child, it corrupts your spirit, it takes away your innocence, and causes you to become like that parent or those parents. And based on what we just read here, the mother's like totally out of control, insane inside the home, and the children having to deal with that, it caused them to resent her for that, become angry at that, and as we all know, you become like what you hate. And Vester, if this story is true, and um, from all of what we've seen and heard and read about it is true, he took on his mother's identity. That same spirit, angry, hateful spirit that was driving her is what was driving him to do the things that he did. He could not help himself because as a child, as kids, you're subject to your parents. And whatever they are, you become. I remember God said that fathers do not drive your kids to anger, I believe. Yeah, do not provoke your children. Do not provoke them. It's happening day in and day out. I've always said that there are no such, there, there are no such things at, thing as bad children, but bad parents. And this is why you got, as adults, you must overcome your anger because it is the nature of evil. But what I want to add is that you have to realize that our battle is a spiritual battle, warfare between good and evil. And when parents are angry and raising children, they are spiritually, their nature is evil. And there's no love in their nature because anger is the nature of Satan. And even though they're trying to pass on the right thing to their children, but once these parents pass that anger down to their children, when, and, and, and some people are not as extreme as this woman. You can be impatient with your kids. You can put too many responsibilities on your kids. For an example, let's say you're a mother and you have to go to work and you leave your older kids to raise the younger kids. They are not set up to raise those kids. They're not mentally and emotionally strong enough to do that. That, that can tr traumatize the kids spiritually. Um, so many things. It's just bad, folks. And so this boy, um, Vester, and again, he is still responsible for his action because he had was old enough to repent and overcome it. But his parents, his mother, according to this report, recreated him in her image. That's what happened. That same evil spirit that was in her was passed on to him and that's why he became that way and acted out in the way he did. And so when you go out into the world, he is told that, oh, it's not you, it's racism. And it's not you, it's the folks who hate homosexuals. And it's not you, it's somebody else. And he never took responsibility and looked at himself so he could forgive his mother and overcome her identity.